Okay, thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. It's really nice to be here, and thank you for inviting me. Uh, I'm going to tell you a bit about the uh, Swedish Competence Center for Innovation Procurement. Um, and um, the, uh, this competence center that works within Procure to innovate, it actually consists of two agencies. It's the agency that I uh, represent, the National Agency for Public Procurement, and it's also the National Procurement Services at an agency called Kammerkollegiet. Uh, but there are several agencies and organizations that work to promote innovation procurement in Sweden. And this is, uh, we are actually uh, striving uh, uh, along the same path together with agencies like Vinova, the Innovation uh, Agency, the Swedish Energy Agency. And these are very important for financing innovation procurement. Uh, we also work a lot with the Swedish Association of Local Authorities and Regions, um, with the Confederation of Swedish Enterprise and the Association of Swedish Engineering Industries, because it's so important also to uh, uh, include the companies and the businesses in the uh, in innovation procurement. Um, I'm mainly going to talk about uh, my own agency today, but I'm going to tell you a bit about the value of public procurement in Sweden. Uh, it's 17% of GDP in, Swed uh, in Sweden, and it's about 683 billion Swedish kronos. That is about 68 billion euros. Uh, and there are a lot of agencies, contracting agencies, that we support in Sweden. 344 government agencies, 290 municipalities, 20 regions, and about 3,000 publicly owned companies. Uh, and the number of procurement procedures in Sweden yearly is about uh, 18,000. Um, we often uh, describe our agency as the knowledge hub for public businesses. We are 80 people working at this agency and uh, there are a lot of people working with other issues than innovation procurement actually. <laughs> it's about, very much about sustainable procurement and of course sustainable innovative procurement. Uh, but it's also, uh, we also support a lo lot in, in uh, legal, in general legal issues, and we also actually support municipalities and regions when it <coughs> comes to state aid. So we also have some other uh, issues that we work with. Um, these are our main um, target groups. Of course, in the long run, it's the public, uh, the media, uh, decision-making authorities, very important target group, of course, public organizations. Uh, we also work with the companies and non-profit and idea-based organizations uh, because we also want them to be part in public procurement. And then we have a lot of collaboratory uh, partners that I just told you about. Um, yeah, to start with, I can say that this agency started four years ago, but before that, there were other agencies. But three years ago, the Swedish government launched the, the national procurement strategy uh, because they wanted to promote and develop public business in Sweden. Uh, and they also uh, put up seven policy objectives on how to develop a healthy public business. So these are the seven goals of the national procurement strategy. As you can see, goal number five, uh, the most important one, according to me, is uh, public procurement that drives innovation and alternative solutions. 
But we also have goals about uh, number one, it's very important that public procurement uh, is used as a strategic tool uh, to uh, do good business. And of course, we also have goals about efficient purchasing, that we need a multiplicity of suppliers, that the uh, procurement should be legally certain, it should be environmental responsible public procurement, and it, the procurement should also uh, contribute to a sustainable society. Um, so, Innovation procurement. Uh, well, this is how we see it in Sweden. We don't, uh, it's not a specific method or procedure. It's a, a way of promoting development in and through public procurement. And we are very open to a broad range of methods and procedures, and we don't promote any specific procedure or method. Uh, so, what do we do when it comes to innovation procurement? Well, uh, our role is mainly to support uh, contracting agencies, uh, authorities, and also uh, to support suppliers. So, we uh, disseminate experiences through trainings and workshops and, and seminars. Uh, we provide support to innovation procurement projects and also to bias networks, and I will tell you a bit about that uh, later. Uh, and we also disseminate and spread knowledge through examples, guidelines and videos. Yeah, I'm going to tell you a bit about support to innovation procurement projects. We are Every year we pick out specific projects that we want to follow and support. Uh, we, sometimes we participate in uh, expert groups, we give direct support to projects, and we also um, observe projects to disseminate these experiences to others. Um, and then we work with something called bias networks, and that is very often a group of contracting authorities with a common need for uh, a new solution. Um, the purpose is to um, develop knowledge and in a very specific field uh, that should be based on common needs that these um, authorities have. Um, and uh, they, the networks work with producing some kind of developing new solutions, but at the end it can also happen that they do a procurement together or do individual procurement. Uh, but the important part here is that you try to collect um, information within an area together. Uh, and here are some examples, actually, of networks for bias in Sweden. It's very difficult to read, but here you can see that it's within areas like buildings, uh, welfare technology, uh, textiles in healthcare, for instance, uh, polluted areas and uh, drug residues in wastewater. Uh, so it's very often it's, it has to do with some kind of a a challenge when it comes to sustainability and the environment, and that you try to collect this together. Uh, at the moment, we are actually starting one of these networks on a Nordic level, that different uh, municipalities will go together in uh, Sweden, uh, Norway, Finland, and Denmark uh, to find new solutions when it comes to uh, emission-free transport in the uh, cities in these countries. So it will be very interesting to do this also on a Nordic level. Very often uh, municipalities are involved in these uh, networks. Very often they don't have the, the possibility to, to uh, um, have this kind of initiative on their own. 
So, okay, we have also have a lot of support materials for uh, the agencies. Um, we have a support material on market dialogue, uh, um, how to do these kind of meetings, uh, how to do a request for information, and we also have different examples on our website. Um, we have support uh, material on functional requirements. This turned out that some uh, procurers thought it was difficult uh, to use functional requirements, so that's why we developed this support material on how to formulate, evaluate, and to follow up uh, functional requirements. Uh, we also have supporting material on innovation procurement, material and guidelines on pre-commercial procurement, competitive dialogue, innovation partnership, and so on. Uh, and we also have done a lot of films where procurers and suppliers um, give information on a specific uh, procurement. Um, we have a lot of our support uh, material on our website, um, guidelines, practical examples, um, and also on our website, uh, you can find a lot of material and we have a question and answers portal uh, that is very useful uh, for a lot of um, not only contracting uh, authorities, also to suppliers. And uh, we also, they also have the possibility ability to call us um, uh, every day to, to uh, if they have general questions about uh, specific issues when it comes to procurement and of course also innovation procurement. Okay, uh, that's all from me. Thank you.